All right, now we're doing 8Q. How many stairs will Suzuki climb in 20 years? This is by user 8476848, and 89% of the people like it. Suzuki is a monk who climbs a large staircase to the monastery as part of a ritual. Some days he climbs more stairs than others depending on the number of students he must train in the morning. He is curious how many stairs might be climbed over the next 20 years and has spent a year marking down his daily progress. The sum of the stairs logged in a year will be used for estimating the number he might climb in 20. So 20 years, uh, one year total times 20, right? Uh, you will receive the following data Pardon me, we will, we will receive the following data structure uh, representing the stairs Suzuki logged in a year. We will have all data for the entire year, so regardless of how it is logged, the problem should be simple to solve. So stairs, a full week, and then blah, blah, blah. All right. Make sure our solution takes into account all the nesting within the stair array. Each weekday in the stair and the stairs array is an array, all right? Our function should return the 20 year estimate of the stairs climbed using the formula above, I guess this one, uh, and then here's some other stuff. All right, so this one, we're gonna be using the reduce method twice. All right, we're gonna have to reduce, um, we're gonna to have to get the sum of all these weeks, weekdays, excuse me, we're gonna to have to get the sum of all these days and then the sum of all of the numbers in the days, right? So let me show you reduce real quick. All right. And the reduce method executes a user supplied reducer callback function on each element of the array in order passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. The final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value. And perhaps the easiest to understand case for reduce is to return the sum of all elements in an array. And also this says that um, sometimes you gotta have the initial value be zero, right? So that being said, let's do it. So first we're gonna say 20, since it's 20 years, times, and then we're gonna say r, excuse me, s dot reduce. And for reduce, the syntax is something like the previous value, current value, and then we're going to do previous value plus current value, all right? And then at the end, initial value. So let's do prev1, cur1, and then we're going to say prev1 plus cur1. And then the cur1, since this is just the uh, days of the week, we're going to say dot reduce again, and we're going to say prev two cur two. All right, and then we're going to say prev two plus cur two, and then now we need an initial value for both of these uh, reduce methods. So it's going to be zero on that one and zero on this one right so it's going to come in here first things first it's going to go to like sunday it's going to go first it's going to go sunday and then it's going to go inside sunday and it's going to add all these together and then it's going to go then it'll make that the previous one it'll make the sunday the previous one and then current one will be monday and it'll add all monday together and then it'll add that to what sunday is and then all the way down and let's see if it works all right, it worked. Attempt it, good. Submit it. All right, very like this one. Let's go see my solutions. Just me, best practice in my opinion. And we'll see you next time.